So let's move to what you've been talking about over the last few months, uh, your new book, The Identity Trap. And, and of course, anyone in the United States has been hearing far too much about the culture wars. Um, explain to me a little bit what you mean when you call identity a trap. Yeah, um, look, we all have identities and that's a great thing. We're recording this in the middle of New York City. One of the things that I love about this place is that there's people from all over the world. But many of those people have strong connections to the cultures, the languages, the cuisines of the places that they're from. And there's always been forms of identity politics. I think people like Frederick Douglass and Martin Luther King were in some sense engaged in identity politics. What I worry about is a novel ideology about race and gender and sexual orientation, sometimes called woke, for I try to avoid that term, uh, that has gained tremendous power over our mainstream institutions. And that is different in a number of ways. Number one, it really tries to encourage people to double down on their identities in new ways. A lot of elite private schools in the city we're recording this in now think that the mission of a progressive education is to get children to think of themselves as racial beings. And they come into classrooms, sometimes in the third grade, the second grade, the first grade, and split kids up by race in order to make them double down on their identities in that kind of way. That, I think, is a mistake. And the second key thing here is that the form of demands that are made have changed significantly from what they used to. Rather than asking for true inclusion in shared institutions, rather than, as Frederick Douglass did in his famous speech about the 4th of July, saying, by what virtue are you excluding me from the values you're celebrating today, from the idea that all men are created equal, they often reject that universalist heritage and want to make how we treat each other and how the state treat all of us explicitly depend on the kind of identity groups of which we're a part. Um, Derek Bell, the founder of critical race theory, for example, argued that we should reject, I quote, the defunct racial equality ideology of the civil rights movement. That, I think, is a big mistake. <laughs>